Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. As I reported on my last Yellowstone video, um, yeah, the quiet is no longer going on. It was quiet around the world for large earthquakes since the 12th of this month. And then yesterday afternoon, they had that, what, 7.6 earthquake in Alaska, and now we got a 5.6 in Iceland. Yep, the southern peninsula of Iceland is rocking and rolling. This 5.6 reported by USGS, 67 people reported feeling it. Um, envendor.is has a image showing all the earthquakes within um, the last 24 hours, I believe. And we'll come down here to this showing all the earthquakes there's the 12th and here it is today the 20th of october look how the earthquakes are spiking a twitter post from space weather live it says a familiar corona hole is facing our planet and based on what it managed to do during the previous rotation we can again expect multiple days with geomagnetic storm conditions during the second half of this week and they give a image of it let's go look at soho here is the latest image of the sun and we got some solar flares there and look at down here earth facing and it rotates going from left to right and let's pull this over i'll come down and we'll come up. This is the coronal hole that they're talking about that's coming around here. There's several images here of the uh, sunspot, earth-facing sunspot. I'll click on a couple of them. There we go. And these were taken today. You can see the date here at the bottom. And another image. So we got this sunspot area here, and we got another one that's going to be rotating across the disk. So geomagnetic storms often cause earthquakes around the world. And here you can see the location of that 5.6. Over here was a 6.3 that was in uh, 2008. Now EMSC says it was a magnitude 5.5 and some of the felt reports that were put there. It says uh, was dancing. Buildings here are built to withstand earthquakes as they happen frequently in Iceland. This one was unusually strong, though. We could feel the earth grumble and the building shook a little bit. Items on the shelf rattled. All okay, nothing serious. And what else we got? A mega jolt. Lasted two to three seconds. The whole house shook briefly. We felt it downtown. Oh, that's a city there. Also, you could hear the ground rumbling, but all are okay. Um, I'm not even going to try and pronounce these names. I just get them all jumbled up. First, a big hit. Then a wave for two to three seconds. It had two peaks. The second one was more intense than the last uh, for three to four seconds. Um, biggest one in years. Large earthquake in Iceland felt in Arcanes. Uh, 22nd built and build and rumble. We felt it on the couch moving, swinging, and the TV stand moved. Yeah, you should bolt it to the wall. And another city mention, quite shaky, rattling. Here is a map of the reports from USGS. Two there, one there, four there, uh, 32 there. Wow. 1 and 10. The moment tensor ball for the fault line looks like we got spreading. Fault line moved towards the east, uplifted a little bit. The first wave of the earthquake came straight up. Tension was applied going uh, north. Interesting, we have uplift and spreading of the fault line. I am sure there was a lot more people that felt this earthquake and just didn't bother to report it just discussed it with their neighbors, the people they work with, um, loved ones, you know, people in their family. Did you feel this earthquake? Do you have family there? If so, please put your comment down below. How long did it last, etc. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much for your support. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.